The first thing you see as you approach All Saints Church from Cheltenham Town Centre is the Calvary, erected in memory of the men from the parish who fell in the First World War. The image of Jesus, an innocent man tortured to death, is at the heart of much Christian art and music. Johann Sebastian Bach's Passion Chorale depicts the scene in all its starkness. When they came to the place that is called the Skull, they crucified Jesus there with the criminals, one on his right and one on his left. Then Jesus said, Father, forgive them, for they do not know what they are doing. Jesus forgave immediately, but for most of us, the road to forgiveness, if we're able to walk along it at all, is a long, painful one. In 2001, Ray and Vi Donovan's 18-year-old son Chris was murdered in a random attack by a group of youths. Well, initially, when we were in the hospital and they came and told us he died, I was so angry. I was so full of rage. I could feel it coming up inside of me and I, it, it felt as if I was totally out of control with it. And it really wasn't me. We got in the car to come home. It was the early hours of the morning. And Ray looked at me and he said, Vi, as Christians, we're going to have to forgive the boys that did this. And I just went absolutely angry at him. I just screamed at him. I said, I'm not doing that. How did you move from all that anger to forgiveness? I went to the court a year later, and when I saw the families, when I saw the families and realising that everybody's losing here, the families of the boys that killed Chris, everybody lost something. I lost my son, but they really have lost their son somehow, haven't they? They may get him back physically one day, but they, it will never be the same for them. 
and, and compassion began to come back into me. God's compassion for them. We have a choice. You see, I realised later that all of my anger was like having a cup of poison and I was drinking it and they weren't feeling it, I was. It was destroying me, who I was. And Chris wouldn't have wanted that for me. So I decided to choose to forgive. What happened when you met one of your son's killers? I began to look at him in a closer way. And when I met him, when I walked in that room, I was able to tell him I, was, I forgive him. I was able to hug him. That's remarkable love. Not my kind of love, it was my kind of love. I probably would have punched him in the face. But God's love inside of you is so overwhelming that you can't help but want to give it out. I felt compassion for him. He was 15 when he went in prison. He's now 25 and a man. And when I heard him say, I'm sorry, when I heard him say that I was a coward, when I heard the truth, which is all I ever wanted, you know, I just wanted to hug him. He was just a boy. He could have been my son.